Hi everyone, welcome to the first tutorial of the C++ programming series. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can, you can download Visual Studio Code for Mac and how you can set up it for C++ programming. So, most of you know how you can download Visual Studio Code and but just I'm going to show you but you don't know how to set up it for C++. So, we will do the basic stuff. First, we will type Visual Studio Code in Safari and just we would go to the top website that appears now what you have to do is just download Visual Studio Code from here and once you have successfully installed Visual Studio Code for Mac now what you have to do is go to Spotlight and open Visual Studio Code now when you open Visual Studio Code for the first time it appears like this I know this interface is a bit confusing and just don't panic uh, just cool down and go just go to this symbol extensions now what you have to do is just install the first two extensions that are appearing on the top left hand side of my screen first one is C++ IntelliSense by Microsoft now I have already installed it but uh, you have not so you, you, you might have to uh, do it yes you have to do it so now the second extension you have to install is code runner by Jinhan now once you have installed these two extensions 90% of your tasks for setting VS code in Mac is done now the 10 rest and per for the rest 10% what you have to do is go to Ex explorer I uh, will show you an example of running a code uh, so that you can be assured that yes uh, your things are done pretty fine and when now you just have to open a folder any folder create any folder in your desktop and uh, just uh, right now I have opened a folder called demo one and when you do this uh, it's asking you me to trust the authors obviously I would trust the author I am the author I am under trust myself so now once you have opened demo one uh, or any folder that you have named it anything just get in desktop anywhere now once you have op opened it what you have to do is there are several icons beside any folder when you open in VS Code now when uh, these icons have some meaning now this icon has uh, is to open some new file this icon is to open some new folder so now what you will do is just open a new file name is at name it as hello world.cpp now what you have to do is just write some code snippets along with me don't get overwhelmed seeing these, these hello world.cpp what is cpp just don't get overwhelmed just for now write what I am writing and once you have done that now you have to write stdc out you might have got the idea of what we are going to write we are going to write the program for your favorite program hello world most of you are familiar with it most of many it might be that some of you are not but still it's okay it's not my favorite program by the way but it's okay now what you have to do is type all of this now don't copy the code uh, Please leave the habit of copying codes from the right from the beginning. Even if this it is this much small code, just don't copy it. Uh, 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 copy it from somewhere else. Uh, try to write it like this only. Even if it is a one line because it develops a good habit. Basically, it would help you in future. Now, when you run it, you have to run all by when you have to run a program. Just remember one thing: you have to always save it before you have to run it. Now. Uh, we have run it and it has printed something on the console now it has printed hello world now what I would suggest is that you can print hello world from the output section too but what I would suggest whenever you are running any of your C++ program just run it from terminal why I am suggesting terminal and how you would do it first uh, let's see how you would do it you have to write this command g plus plus standard equals c plus plus 17 why 17 because most of the people are using 17 right now 
S2120 is the C++ 20 is the latest standard but still most of the people are using C++ 17 and it is the one you should use too and now after writing this just write the name of the program file that you have created in your folder for my case it is hello world for your case it might be different dot cpp and when you do this it might seem that nothing has happened because it prints the same thing the name of the user and just the demo one folder but wait something has happened it has created a new file name a dot out now what you have to do is just type one more command dot slash a dot out now when you do, do this now this would print hello world 2 now these two statements one is g plus plus standard equal to c plus plus and your file name and dot a dot out we are going to use this in the entire tutorial sessions now what you have to do with this why I am telling you to use terminal because in the output section VS code is set up for somewhat it has an error that besides python javascript and other languages for c++ it is set up for some older standards and it would give you some error when you try, try to write your program according to the practices of the latest standard so that's why i am suggesting you to use terminal because you there is something called flags and what is flags when you write this this standard equal to c++ 17 this is called a flag when you pass this uh, thing when you write this thing in your terminal it tells the vs code that uh, we want to use this standard of c++ so for uh, our code so the vs code setup uh, uh, standard c++ 17 and your work is done now for now i would suggest you always use terminal for any kind of program whether it be of uh, this hello world or anything now for windows user if you are a windows user you just have what i have to do is Download these two extensions. Download VS Code. Download these two extensions, Code Runner and uh, IntelliSense by Microsoft. Now the next thing you have to do is just go to Safari or any other browser that you have. Download this compiler, MainGW64. Once you have downloaded it from here, this second website. I have wrote it wrong, so it, uh, this website is not appearing on the top. Now it appears on the top. I wrote it correctly. Now when you download this, it would make it work for you in the windows. So this is all for today, uh, see you in the next tutorial, till then goodbye.